Hey Brenna, how's it going? So good, happy to be back. Brenna is back on the channel today. This is my beautiful wife, Brenna. My name is Jeremiah Craig. Brenna, we have Python booties today. I know, I'm so excited. I'm just here to connect ya. And then I'll be on my way. It seems like from some of your other shoes and boots and booties that you really like Python. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, there's just a look to it. I really like texture and I really also like though neutrals and things that I can wear not every day but often and I don't necessarily want something that's like a Piruku or right. something super crazy. It's just a little much for me. I like things a little bit more neutral so the Python accomplishes all of those things while I think still being very easy to wear with a lot of different stuff. Yeah, that makes sense. And when we found these from Boot Barn, the Idle Wind Python booties and looked at the price, we were like, we might as well try them out we to see well. what they're like because they're beautiful. It's Miranda Lambert's line. So we're gonna break down the details of this booty and Brenda's gonna try them on, let you know her thoughts in this quick impression video. Brenna, we always start with one certain thing, though. The rundown! <laughs> yes! Love it. So these are, like we said, the Idlewind boots. So exciting! A python leather. It is not a print, but they are gorgeous. Yes. It is the color natural. I don't remember if they had other colors, but this is au naturel, baby. This is a beautiful J toe that we've actually got here. On the website, it actually says it's a round toe, which <laughs> is general enough, but it's a pointed round. Yeah, it's a, it's got a little point to it. Yeah, it's a, a J toe. One. It's a, a J toe, little, guys. A little. One. They're only six inches tall, which is really nice. One other thing that I will just say about these is that they only have the one pole strap on the side. You got the zipper and the one pole strap. That's pretty common nowadays, but some people are expecting two, you're not gonna get it. Mm -hmm. And it does have that nice short two and a quarter inch heel, which is most likely bonded leather, but it looks good. It is a leather outsole with some nice brass nails. You can see them in there, they look awesome. And we do have a really nice leather lining in here. Um, probably pig skin and then it has a non-removable soft leather insole so there's probably a layer of foam in there with a, a piece of leather covering it you can feel it it's nice I like that yeah I always like it when um, people do that so that you can still feel the leather but have a little bit of cushion these are also made in Mexico great and for the price they are $259.50 at bootbarn.com all right, Brenna, it's almost time for you to try these boots on to tell us how they look and feel, but I wanna talk about your dress for a second because it's really, really nice. Let me get these out of the way. Yeah. What does this feel like? What is it? It's so soft. This is actually uh, the Lauren Navy Chevron dress by Bridge and Burn. It's all designed in Portland. Um, I think it's actually so beautiful. It's really soft. It kind of looks like it would be like a tweed texture but it's not, it's actually more like a, like a tea towel. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah. And it's 100% cotton too. 100% cotton. I really like what their values are on their website. They said they believe that what we wear should not be based on trends that fade, but rather who we are and what we do. Uh, and they always do that with simplicity and versatility at the core, which I'm looking at this, I think they're living up to that. I think they're living because up to that. Because it. it is really simple, but it's really nice at the same time. That's so yeah. soft. And I feel like there's so many things you could do with a plain piece like this. Yeah, you could wear it plain, but I feel like you could add a vest or a cute little belt or get it hemmed if you want a little shorter. Like there's, I don't know, there's a lot of options. Yeah, That's or wear them with python booties. Or wear them with python booties. <laughs> so if you guys want to know more about this Lauren Navy Chevron, head on over to bridgeandburn.com. We got links in the description. All right, Brenda, now it's time for you to try on these Idle Wind Python booties. So I have got the Idle Wind Python booties on. They are super cute. Um, they were a little bit tough to put on, I will be honest. Um, They're very snug. Could be just end of the day, could be that my uh, feet just haven't been in snug boots in a while, but it's a little bit tough, but we got them on. Uh, the zipper, definitely necessary for these. They have a pretty narrow top, but um, they're pretty comfy on the inside once you actually can get them on. Um, and as I have them on and I'm just kind of moving around a little bit, they do kind of 
have an issue with balance. So normally a boot rests really flat and it's, I don't know, there's just a, a natural place where the ball of your foot will rest. But these kind of want to push you inwards a little bit. Maybe they're wanting you to uh, dance a little bit. They want you to move your feet around. So maybe that's something they're trying to do. Um, but it's, it's definitely a newer feeling for me. Normally my boots kind of lay flat and these are not quite there, so I would have expected that. So the boots are pretty great, but they are a little bit tight around the instep for me. I don't normally have this problem given that my feet are actually pretty flat. Um, so that's a new one for me. So here's my point of view. Um, and you can see the toe is really cute. I feel like it might not kind of go with this dress because it's a little bit pointy, but maybe that's her look if you're going for that girl boss look. Um, I feel like they look cute though. The python is incredible. I love how much texture and pattern there is. The top being different than the sides, ugh, it gets me every time and I love that about python. It's just so fun to have the multiple textures. You can see they did a little bit with like the seaming on the side. So it's just super fun and different and in my opinion it's pretty creative but you can wear it with pretty much anything. All right Brenna, so these seem to be a little bit tight, maybe a little small on you. Yeah. I know it is the end of the day, but still, you fit into other six and a half boots, this is your size, at the end of the day all the time. I mean, that's when we do our videos. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you know, this might run just a smidgen small, it I seems like. I think so. Like. Yeah, just a smidgen small. Um, it's possible that they would break in over time and be absolutely perfect, but just as a quick impression, just wearing them right now for five minutes, I probably would not, I'd work up to it, mm -hmm. you know? Start them a little bit at a time. They're mm -hmm. a little tight. Um, if you are in between sizes, I would definitely go up to the next one. Yeah, what did you think about how they feel compared to what the cost is? Because, I mean, $260 for an all Python booty is kind of a good price. It's a good price. Um, I feel like you can't find real genuine python for $260, like Boot Barn is doing a really good thing here. Um, I think the construction is pretty good, but I do have an issue with the way that the boot didn't really like, you can kind of see it happening there, like it doesn't necessarily lay flat. Like this one, pretty solid, but this one, it just kind of... Yeah, there's definitely an issue with the balance there. Yeah, and I feel like that would really bother me. I think at the end of the day, my hips would hurt, my knees would hurt from trying to just like stay upright on this thing. So personally for $260, I think I would pass on these or go to the store, try them on, make sure that you get a pair that is balanced because it's possible it's just this particular oh, yeah. pair. It's you know, the last thing yep. that can happen. So either definitely try them on for yourself, make sure that they feel good, um, or be prepared to maybe have that issue. Zippers worked well and everything like you expected it to? Oh yeah, the zippers work well. Um, it is a little bit of a nicer zipper, kind of thick, blends in, it's good. And the lining is really soft and nice, so mm -hmm. I love that. Um, it's really nice to find a fashion boot. The heel isn't too big, but that is genuine python. Like that. I've looked. Yeah. It's hard. <laughs> and I think the color is good too. Yep, it's an awesome color. It seems good for the price as long as you can get a pair that balances well. Totally. Uh, let us know what you think of these boots down in the comments. Do you have them already? Uh, we would love to know your experience with them as well and to help the other folks coming through doing research on these boots. And do you like Miranda Lambert? Yeah. Tell us down below. I like Miranda feel? Lambert. I think she's great. I love her music. Yeah, yeah. she's so cool. And she does um, brands like this. I mean, how cool is that? Super cool. But if you hate her, let us know. Uh, <laughs> and maybe we'll change our minds in future videos. <laughs> Probably not though. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time here, please subscribe. Thank you, Brenna, for joining us again today and helping me out with a women's video. We gotta get more women's video on the channel, so you're a huge help with that. Uh, let us know what you think, and we'll see you next time. Peace. The price of idle wind pythons is a nice surprise. They might be hastily made, but they're still kind to the eyes. <laughs> Yes, thank you so much for watching today. Why don't you check out this other video me and Brennan did about another pair of booties. Or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.